guys, it's Ben of Trash here, and a lot of people lately have been asking me for a tutorial series, so um, I thought I'd kick off a tutorial series with the basics on drawing a chibi. Because it's not very often I suppose I see them around, um, I draw them a heck of a lot, so people keep asking me um, how I do them and whatnot, so I thought I'd, I'd give that a shot. So um, I'm not going to show you the exact style that I use for mine, but I'm going to show you the basics so that you can develop your own styles and that it's a lot easier for you to learn uh, just how to draw your own and build on that. So generally speaking, every chibi I've ever drawn in my life, it doesn't matter what style I use, always starts with a circle. So I'll scroll down a little bit here. Um, so normally uh, for sketching I'm using Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop here. Um, I use a regular brush with a tablet. So you can do this on paper, obviously, if you don't have a tablet. If you have a tablet, you can set it normally to transfer, or if you can play with opacity, it works the same way. It just makes it a lot easier. Obviously, when I when I push down more, there's a darker line. So I can go around something more than once, and it looks darker or lighter, depending. So, first thing we do is normally a circle. So, for a chibi body, you're going to... This is just mandatory. When you're drawing a specific pose, like um, let's say we're going to draw just somebody standing. Normally you just draw a stick figure or something simple. So you literally could draw a stick figure here. There's your stick figure. Uh, that's the kind of character you're going to draw. So with this one, you would do the same thing. First off, the face is going to be facing forward. So that is just showing you both sides of the line. And then you've got another one across the side. This is where your eyes will go, so you can draw any kind of eyes. There's lots of different styles you can just draw, like uh, that kind of shape. You can draw a circle, like I've got these ones here. You can draw different shapes. You can draw your uh, your big anime eyes. You can draw like more grown-up ones, which look really quite funny on chibis. Things like that. You can just draw happy eyes, eyes based on expressions. So things like that, I'll just move them over a minute. So yeah, that's, that's your basics. So um, it's, it's up to you what kind of eyes you want to put on. But normally what you do is you put the eyes just on top of the line, about halfway in the middle of the face. So where you've got your line is pretty much in between the outside and that of your face. That's where your eyes go. I'm just going to colour those ones in. Then we'll put a face, put a mouth on it. A lot of chibis, it's up to you whether or not you want a nose on it. Some of them don't actually look bad with a nose. Like if, if I draw me a chibi here. Uh, yeah, I forgot the line. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Here's a chibi. You can put a little nose on it and then put the mouth. Or you can do it without. It's entirely up to you. Uh, the shape of your face, a lot of people, I've seen people do it with just a circle. I've seen them shape it. I've seen them do it as a square. So, to be honest, it's up to you. You could literally make your chibi out of a square if you wanted to. Um, I might do one of those afterwards and try it with different shapes. So there's a couple of ways you can do your body. Um, you can do it with, like, you just get like a little rectangle underneath. This is your body. It's not very big. And then you have your feet, so you just draw a stick figure. Simple enough. There's your feet and your hands. I actually want this one to wave. It's cute, why not? Now, a whole point of a chibi is it's a very simplistic version of your own drawing style. It's something that's designed to be quick, easy, just easy to draw. Okay, so we have our basic shape. Now all you do, once you've got all your basic shapes on, the pose you kind of want and everything, it's quite easy to add your little features. So for stars, we'll just work on the body. So you just go around your, your basic shape and you can just start drawing your legs and Using your, use your um, stick figure in that just as a guideline to help with it, so you can make little arms. There's lots of different ways that you can do it. So um, at the moment, I'll just get rid of these two, so I can draw a couple more. So you could draw something like, again, same kind of thing. Draw the same shape. Same shape. Everything's pretty much the same. Now we'll change the style of it, so we want this style. Actually, no, I don't, like, I don't particularly want it for that. Okay, wait, we'll go this way. So this one, um, again, 
you can you can actually change it quite a bit so say I wanted this one smaller I could make the body a lot smaller then what I could do is I could make this really short so again, this is an entirely new style for the same kind of chibi. And you can have it again and again and again. Each time will be different. And then you get your your proper bodies, you get fat ones, you get skinny ones. You can work with long legs, you can make some that look a bit more like a full-bodied um, anime person or cartoon, but just scale it down a little bit. That's pretty much what chibis are it's just it's just designed to be a lot easier so if we get rid of these ones if you need to just go back and pause the video if you want um, to make sure you keep the references I'll keep the eye references there the entire time just because it makes it a little bit easier um, so what we're gonna do after that is I suppose we'll add some features to this one so I'll, I'll hide these ones for the moment and move this one up so what we're going to do with this one, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to have, this time I'm just going to make it stand basic. And we're going to put clothes on it. This is just the basics on how to draw chibi, so everything else is entirely up to you how you do it. You can make them out of different shapes, so you could do it out of that kind of shape. You can have a square and then a rectangle if you want to do a chibi Minecrafter. Um, maybe it might be easy, see? It's, it's not hard, just you play around with the shapes and you can make whatever you want with it. Uh, most cases I normally use a circle and a rectangle. Um, sometimes I think the rectangle goes in a little bit at the top because cause it gives it more like your hips and that when you're actually drawing a normal person. So we're just going to draw your arms down the side. And normally when I do mine is I draw the face on first. So we'll draw the face on. There's the mouth. The cheeks, you can do them any way you want. Um, I normally do that for a cheek. Or there's this. There's like your chubby cheeks kind of look. Pretty much any, any way you want to go for it. Um, you could even be a little bit sneaky. You could do like little hearts, things like that. So it just gives it your own little character. And then what you do is we're going to shape the face so it's up to you what kind of shape you want for the face I normally make mine a bit podgy I guess for the cheeks also the head is up way too high so I'm gonna move it down so there we go it's easy to move it down or just redraw little bits and rub out bits if it doesn't look good and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put we've got our shoulders shoulders come out a little bit here you don't always have to put in shoulders for chibis, it depends entirely on how simple you want to go. And generally speaking, it does not take much to draw one of these. So these are for any level, it doesn't really matter if you're good or bad at drawing. These are, sp and, and make sure you do just keep it for fun. The whole point of, of drawing this kind of thing is literally just for fun. It's, it's designed to keep you happy, and I thoroughly enjoy it. It's the whole reason why I draw chibis a lot. You can draw so many different poses as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a couple of pose sheets maybe in the description so you guys can look at those for pose ideas and stuff like that. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, you can send me um, you can send me questions and stuff, and I'm quite happy if, if you send me your artwork. I'll give you some critique if you need it, or you know just just ask me what you'd like to improve on, and I can give you advice things like that over Twitter. So. I have my Twitter link in the description as well. So there we go. I don't particularly like this body again. If it's too long, shorten it up. There we go. Now I'm happy with it. So, you know, it you don't have to draw it the first time perfect. Everything is going to change obviously as you're drawing things, so if it doesn't look perfect the first time, just move it around until you're actually happy with it. So there we go. Now we have the basics for a chibi. Uh, normally with me, I don't particularly like it when they just stand there doing nothing. It's just myself. So sometimes I will move the arms out just a little bit and do things like that. You can draw hands a couple of ways. So that's a hand. There's the top fingers and there's your thumb. Or you can draw, uh, like, you can draw this kind of shape. I generally keep it as simple as possible. 
when it's a chibi because again it's designed to be quick easy etc um, it's entirely up to you some people just literally do something round or you can do a round with a thumb like a mitten so everything is pretty easy so we'll just do that so I'm gonna put one like this there we go they can pose for the camera next what we're gonna do um, I guess is we'll start with the hair because a lot of people I know have trouble with the hair again hair is supposed to be really simple so it's not designed to have too much detail and stuff in it so you literally just make big clumps of hair so pretty much like I see one big clump right there again uh, we'll just give her a flick up the top and then we're going to give her here we're just going to flick it out the back again not too not detailed it's just quick easy and she's got her ears outside it depends on you if you really want to do that or not uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do her clothes so we'll just do a t-shirt so there we go put the sleeves on the sleeves don't stick to the skin because a lot of people forget this when you have an arm it doesn't merge with the skin it does sit off a little bit so just draw it off just a tiny bit and it makes it a little bit better like a t-shirt and you got your neck so neckline and the bottom of your shirt so you can draw that instead of drawing it straight across try curving it or even putting like a just like a mark in there so you can do a V shape uh, curved is a little bit better so there we go um, then what we do is we'll give it pants because it's easy enough so put the pockets on it's two lines across the top and then we will just again just off the legs there we go and then you put a line just there because obviously you will normally have folds there but that's something you'll learn later and again this is a simple easy one and then you can just draw your lines there which is normally just where it would be sewn with the seams so again, it's, it's more of a design aspect, but it does look good. So we have all our chibi with all the little bits. And that is pretty much how you do a basic chibi. So we've got all the different eye styles, which you can play around with. You can color them all in different ways. You can put color or lights in them. You can have no lights in them. Um, I will do a tutorial on different eye styles and how to color different eye styles later on. I will also do a tutorial on all of the basics, so from drawing um, like a bit more detailed hair, drawing folds and clothes, drawing um, like gemstones and things and how to colour and shade them. So that will come later on. But for the moment this is the easiest thing to draw and it's the, I suppose in a way it's one of the nicest things to practice with because you can do anything with them. And once you get fast, you can start making poses that are just more fun. So, something like, even something like this. So it's quick, it's really quick and easy. Again, you got the your basic shapes. You can put your arm out, which is again, once you got one of those. Put that out there. Chuck your eye in somewhere. Which I should be using the lines for, but this is just for a quick... There we go, it's a bit more rounded and square at the same time than my last one. This is just quick, but this is just to show you that you can pretty much do it really fast later on. It doesn't really matter what kind of poses you want to do. So you can start doing things like that. Um, so you can, eventually there'll be a lot, of, a lot of different poses to practice. Obviously start off with the easier ones first. Once you get good at those, you can start practicing other things. But it's you don't want to start too high in the in the ladder because you end up getting confused or frustrated with it and you don't know what you're doing. So it is easier to start at something that's a bit more simple. So you got basic chibis, um, and there are quite a few different styles you can go for. Again, so um, all the coloring and stuff I will show coloring on how I do color most of my chibis a bit later on and different coloring techniques and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, I hope you, I hope you learn something, you know, maybe, maybe not, it's up to you, I guess. Um, but, yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, follow me on Twitter, um, bit of trash one on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, um, send me your artwork, send me questions, or post in the comments and things like that. I'm quite happy to answer anything if you have any questions. Um, and I will 
hopefully get another tutorial out as soon as I can. I'm not sure when I'm always able to because I can be quite busy during um, offline time and things like that. So um, we'll just see how that goes. So I will see you all later guys and please do show me your work because I love to see it. So if you draw anything please show me um, and I will see what else I can make. So I'll see you all later. So thank you for watching.